All right, so guys, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. It has actually been over a month ago since I last played this game. And I know you guys got episode six and seven, but episode seven was recorded about a month ago or perhaps a little more, which is which is kind of crazy. But today's episode, I'm, I'm really excited because this is going to be the episode, the reason why I decided to play this game again, because recently we replayed RDR2 on the PC, which was absolutely just perfect. And after now really just having an, an incredible understanding of Red Dead Redemption 2's story and knowing exactly what happened, just being able to experience these uh, interactions within this game story has just been that much better. So today we're going to be meeting Dutch, finally. And uh, we're going to get to see the dialogue between John Marson and Dutch. And I feel like, feel like that's going to be pretty special and pretty cool to just experience. So uh, I believe now we are at the... Uh, at the ranch we're now supposed to go and meet uh agent ross which if you've ever experienced this game you know he's not a good person right anyways i actually gotta remember the controls it's it's been a while and i probably forgot the controls of this game okay but uh off we go agent ross so I would like to say we probably have about maybe one episode after this one. Um, and then we've got Jack's Redemption, which is going to be, uh, it's going to be incredible. It's going to be a nice couple of next few episodes here. See Mr. Ross? 107, 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. 117. The disrespect. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. <clears throat> We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all of your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget, but I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. <laughs> We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has well, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. 
Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay. After you, sir. I would at least ask to speak to them or something. So I know that I'm not just being played, right? Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Hmm. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. 343. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. <laughs> 344. Incredible. 345. Uh, 340. He's like, wait, I'm free? Am I really not going to jail? <laughs> Right, Mr. Fordham. Onward. All right, so we'll see if we've got some uh, dialogue here. Isn't this something? Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth! And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the poor son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families too. Come now. You're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. <laughs> you should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston. But we can. I mean, in reality, he is a murderer and a thief, and it's just we love him because he's the main character. Not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. Hmm. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. All right, we're here. Wreck of the serendipity. Right. Serendipity. Let's go, Mr. Serend <laughs> I'm gonna shut up now. All right. Company agent Fordham. Ford Ham. Ford Dumb. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I love the running animation. It's actually quite Keep hilarious. Quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. I power pistol. I'm ready to use this crap. It's fucking it's the most modern shit we've had so far. 
Oh, Ooh, this is going to be interesting. I don't even remember what this sounds like. Seems real quiet, don't you think? Oh. You tell me. Absolutely. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. Then inform it. Better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. I mean, Dutch always they finds a way. So. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. Did you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. What's funny is that this guy could have been killed here. I don't know if he does die here, actually. Investigate the noise. Hurry, there's somebody up there. Oh, it's up top. Oh, God, wait. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Uh, all right, we'll go through here. All right, the stairs have got to be here. There we go. I knew I was in the right direction. I got this. Over here. I found him. Good God, that's her informant. Nossus, wow. what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think you can walk. What the hell's happening Bastard! Here? Oh, shit. We need to clear a path out of here. <laughs> this is just okay. Oh, oh my god. You're making a big mistake. Nah, follow me. Man, this weapon really is incredible. In reality, is also the rapid fire capabilities. In comparison to the weapons we've had, it's insane. Wow. Alright, so we're gonna. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is crazy. It feels so modern. It feels like I played GTA. This is awesome. Now, we've got something here on the ground. What is that? Oh, that's just the mere glare. That's right, bitch. Is there TNT there? No, there's not. Bro, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Come on, come on, come on, John. Oh my god! Damn you! The path looks clear. Let's get back to Agent Ross. <laughs> god, I really hate helping these guys, to be honest. Alright, but we've done it. I think we're in the clear now. Only if we could run a little bit faster here, John. Jesus Christ. This is terrible. I love how this man just kept running instead of like giving me a hand, you know, maybe grab him by the legs or something. I just... Who's this? What in God's name is going on? Wasn't my idea, okay? Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go. There might be more of them. Hmm. Oh, he's alive still. Right to Blackwater. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh... Uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant. <laughs> Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. <laughs> we found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or 
Social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth! So do we have to watch all of this driving or can we like skip to the destination or what's going on? Oh, setup. Blockade perhaps? What is that? gave out well fix it you fool we need to get this man to a doctor of course sir it's Dutch's men Marston we'll hold them off for them we'll fix that damn engine follow me all right okay let's do it oh god I gotta go behind a rock or something. I will die. Oh my god. Fuck. This handgun is awesome. This is kind of crazy. Like, just knowing that we're going against our old leader. Like, father slash mentor. I know he turned out to be a dick, but at some point it was pretty awesome. Well, a part of me is kind of sad that we're kind of having to do this, especially when it helps out the agents, which I despise very much. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You'll make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. The bad workman shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, that still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you've said enough. We'll find Vanderland soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now. Try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much-needed vacation, and in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed, I assure you. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. I can think of far more upsetting alternatives. <laughs> we should take the ending to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of it. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with him. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. <laughs> we should tell you something. <laughs> Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? Good day. Good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. uh, we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. 
Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougall has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. You know, I watch this game. I play this game, and I I wanna I wanna watch uh, Back to the Future. I love it. All right, so we should be right around the corner. Yep, here we go. See what's going on. Should we do another mission here? It's probably gonna be closed. Oh, it's not. Gray men are not always wise. I like it. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informer just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. You guys work midnight shifts too? Well, that's quite impressive. It's like two o'clock in the morning. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. Hmm. Any slower, sir, and I'll fall asleep down here. Get to the vantage point on the roof. Sir, yes, sir. Ooh, hold on. What do we got here? Shit. That door is the only way in and out of the building. So cover it tight. Do you see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. I got this badge for a reason. Nobody shoots until I say. Someone's coming out. He's unarmed. Hold your fire. The bastard's killed. Oh, well, that was, that was that was pretty yucky. Okay, that was pretty yucky. I'm sorry. How do I zoom out? How, how do I zoom in and zoom out of this crap? Hey. Jesus Christ! Got some men in the window. Get the man in the window. Hold on. Oh God. There's another one. Another one. This guy's running. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? As long as they don't hit the horses on the left, I, th I think we'll be all right. Which one? Oh, all the way over there? Oh, damn! That was pretty nice! Where's the last guy? It's so freaking dark. In the window? Oh, no, he's right there. Oh, God. I'm just kind of nervous, right? Slightly blind and nervous. That doesn't help. Got some making a break for it. Get them. Where's the other guy? I don't see shit. There he goes. Marston, head into the bank with Hopkins and Manny. Get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. God, I wish I would have done this during the daytime. Ah. <sighs> We can take them. You sure can, sir. Come on. All right, I'm gonna swap there. out. Get the handgun, cause now I'm all modern and shit. You know. Let's go. This way. Marston, shoot the door open. <laughs> Drop your guns and walk away. Hurry. Get us through that door. Damn, I thought it would have broken away. That would have been super cool. the hostages from the safe. Shit. Hold on, hold on. Oh shit! 
Oh my god. I almost killed her. All right, we're going upstairs. Come on, let's check out upstairs. Let's go. That's it. Can I have Reload the body real quick? What does it give me? Five dollars. Whatever shall I do? Five dollars. What are you shooting at? Where's the auto aim? I mean, the, the aim assist. Fuck. Oh. Shit. Marston, get the door. We got you covered. Hold on. Let me just loot at least another body, right? I deserve it. Been working real hard. And here it is. Oh, it's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrender, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint, but equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Wow. Just trying to help my family, Dutch, by making compromises we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. No! God damn! Fucking relentless motherfucker. I don't see him! What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston. What the fuck? You got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long. Next time I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough. Come on, let's find the bastard. Get on your horses. I just saw Dutch make a run for it. Oh my god. Come on. Chase Dutch with uh, Agent Ross. Oh my god. This is it, boys. Hey, this is what we've all been waiting for. Stop Andrew and escaping from some men. He stole off with the bank manager in an automobile. Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself safe. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. Wow. I need it to be daytime already, dude. Shit. So that's the great Dutch? What a role model! The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? I was on your heartstrings? It kind of reminds me of you. A violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? Now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Oh. Who the hell are you fellas anyway? Lawmen or army? Look, that's Dutch's car. Hurry, you can't have got Oh, he's got a car? Damn. All right, moving on up, Dutch. I see you. It's crazy when you live through everything with the gang and Dutch. And then it mounted to all of this. Just a little bit. Off into action we go. Bitch. Oh, 
have seven bullets left. That's not good. I'll go with the Winchester repeater. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Wow. It's crazy how strong that handgun is in comparison to what we have. And it's a handgun. Modern tools, man. Modern tools for the win. Holy cow. I think, uh... Yeah, I know. The other one's better. Shit. You gotta push forward a bit. Here we go. Push it forward, boys. Nice. Last punch. You're dead, friend. Damn. Fuck. You're the agents of the cabin. Dutch Marston. He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him. Don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, <laughs> but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. <laughs> All right. So there's that. I think we've got to go now to his campsite or something like that. Incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, hmm. Tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm. Unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes, a, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Uh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. <laughs> They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Uh, would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. So it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. Uh, it takes one back to a primal state. Uh, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know we cannot see the stars. But still, my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. Okay. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills. In Cochinay. Let's go. It's... I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. It is crazy how 
That's exactly what Dutch was like in Red Dead Redemption 2. He just sucks onto other people Time to do our and manipulates and uses them and uses them. And it's funny how they got that trait from this game and portrayed it perfectly into Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's go. Stay true to the character that they kind of had envisioned in this game. We have a mutual Phenomenal. Mr. Vanderland? You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderland fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A yep. civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation that... Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. <laughs> Surfing great waves of euphoria. Ah... <sighs> Anyway, yes, yeah, uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor, but we tried to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Look, Mr. Marston, Buffalo. Oh, what a noble beast. I see him. The white man will soon be the end of them. What on earth are you talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon, there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth refuted by Darwin. Species don't die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. Was that really a... Uh... Thought These process. trees are quite foreboding, Nastas. Uh, uh, are you sure this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's rather dark. Ain't you never seen trees before? Yeah. I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. It's this way, mister. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, Mr. Marston. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. Talk me through this primal emotion. It wasn't wrong. Coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. Man, I wonder if we'll ever get a Red Dead Redemption 3. And honestly, if we do, it's probably going to be... 10 years from now, honestly. I'll be an old man. Damn it. I'll be in my 40s. That means I'll never probably see Red Dead Redemption 5 or 6. That sucks. There's the cliff. We'll leave the horses here and climb the rest of the way. Alright. Sounds like a plan. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I, I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Come on. I see a spot where we can climb up. Yeah. All right. Use Nastas to help you find a uh, way up the cliffs. I'm sorry, mister. Give me your... What the fuck happened? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Well, that worked. Look at this crap. Jesus Christ. Dutch is like the perfect representation of a cockroach. It just keeps dying and it just keeps coming back. Never really dies. Damn. Oh no, damn. Whatever shall I See do? You can find another route, Mr. Marston. Oh no. I will have a look around. I will find another way in. That's exactly what that uh, the damn he said sounded like. 
Sorry, horrible sarcasm. Hold on. Ow. Broke my leg there. Yeah, I've got to jump up. Possibly up here. Alright, look at this. We've got some uh, hardcore parkour in Red Dead Redemption. Incredible. Huh. Getting inspired by uh, the Uncharted. I like it. Alright. Let's go this way. Excellent. Excellent. -y. I actually don't even remember what happens to this guy if he dies or not. There's a cave over here. Might go through or up the mountain. Hmm. Yes, look at this. A mine shaft. Excellent. I like it. No harm done. Oof. There's TNT. That's actually quite dangerous. Astas. I don't know if you've seen those things explode, but they're quite dangerous. I say we ought to be careful. We're probably being waited for here. A dead end. This way. Kind of sounds like Dutch in a way. Certain words that he says. Freak, dude. Holy crap. It looks like Sid. <laughs> well, seemed, sounded like Sid. Was it Sid? Seth? I think it was Seth. I forgot. Explosives. Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck? I got stuck. Hello? You've got to be kidding me! Too close. Hey. This all makes good man after all. Trouble man. Just in case. You best shoot me now, or this is over. Fuck! What a mess. I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine, but you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. <clears throat> Does he die? Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlind. Good luck. Right. Climb uh, the rest of the cliffs. Okay, so was it through here? You go ahead. I just need to rest a while. Uh, you already said that, bro. I got it. No, it was definitely not here. <laughs> I'm fucking end up dying and shit. Shut up, man. Alright. Yeah, it was definitely this way. I think this is when we meet Dutch. Right? Oh my god, this is the mission, I think. This is gonna get crazy. And of course I would fucking fall like a moron and then I get 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 attacked by a bird. There's a bear up there. Sounds like a bear. Or, or is it a chupacabra? Those are not real. One of the biggest myths ever. That's right. I thought you wanted some more. Ready to kill you. I'll skin the animal. I got the two for one special. Not too shabby. These animations are uh, quite time consuming. I'll tell you that much. A big horn meat and a grizzly. Is that a grizzly? This will fetch a good price. That's a big one there, John. Fuck. Ah, grizzly meat. It was a grizzly. All right. 
climb continues. A search for Dutch. Here we go. I wonder if you can go to this spot in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, like in this mountain here. I think the tall trees you could. And obviously everything else, but I don't know. Maybe it just looked very... Maybe maybe we have visited, but it just looked so different that... Oh, is that a cougar? Oh, fuck. Fuck off. But he told me I have to be worrying about wild animals now. Dude, the gameplay in this game is so clunky sometimes. Like, you can tell this game is from, like, the early 2010s or around that time. Can't really remember right now. Oh, my God. I'm going to fall. Oh, my God. I would have died. Stay focused. Don't do anything crazy now. Stay focused. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Very sweet. Ooh. Got a scouter. Neutralize the scout without altering the fortress to. Alright, so do we have any throwing knives left? <laughs> Let's go, John! Let's go, John! John with the throwing knives! <laughs> oh, God. I scout uh, binoculars while looking for evidence of Dutch. He was in one of the tents, right? There he goes. This guy just kills everybody, bro. He knows we're here. What? This man is a savage. <laughs> he just shot like the binoculars from like 300 yards with a handgun as if nothing ever happened. Mr. Marston. Bro, you... Mr. Marston. <laughs> Mr. Marston. Oh, look, it's John. <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Marston. Hilarious. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastus and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastus uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with he them. He sounds like them too. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. I'm well, sure it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Then again... <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So what do we have left to do now? Got another mission here. For purely scientific purposes. This guy's drugged the fuck up. Ah, Marston, sir! It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. 
What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to say both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! My boy is gone. Follow me! I asked the staff to bring the horses around front. G -g -g quick, man, quick! Company McDougal. My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down! I I've never been so excited in all my life! Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. I'm telling you, that sounds like Dutch, man. I wonder if it's the same voice actor. That would be really cool. This is it! Years of research! What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> that's so funny. That is crazy. So many crazy characters in this game. It's 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 actually quite astonishing. There is a lot of cool characters. A nervous, I have to say, a touch of the old jitters. No kid, it's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. Whoa. It's a bear for the love of God, kill it. Oh fuck! Oh my God, what am I doing? Huh? Fucking throwing knife. I was throwing a knife at him. Oh my goodness. I was trying to throw a knife at the bear. How pathetic. I'm still shaking. What a ferocious animal. That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. All very well for you to say, but perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals. But I, sir. Here we are. Stay close, Mr. Marston. I'm a little out of my comfort zone. Everything's gonna be fine, Mr. McDougal. Dr. McDougal. Is that a beaver? That's cool. Sir, don't try anything stupid. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, well, I well, violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! Do as he says, Marston. You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Oh, shit. Bro, I forgot they just killed that man in cold blood. Oh my god. Bro. That is right that they killed that man like nothing. Stay down and keep quiet. What do you think you're playing at? Bro. Whatever you do with me. I completely forgot. 
sorry. I don't even know what I'm shooting at there. Bro, they killed his right. ass. Let's go now while we got the chance. <laughs> oh my god. I remember now. I remember being completely shocked at the fact that they just killed him like that. Like, such an important character dies instantly. That's like, kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy to we me. We should move quickly. Wow. Wow. There's plenty more where they my came God, from. I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting wow. shot at will do that to you. I'm completely drained. It's like my body is eight. Oh, my God, that bad. Oh, I'm going to have to that horse. I'm sorry. I think that's all of them. Well, I guess this completes my research. Finished. Done. Complete. That might kill the horse. By Dutch's gang. It's a little soon to be drawing conclusions on an entire people. This is very disheartening. My recent studies, now stars, the blood samples, everything is immediate. This can't be happening. Damn it. Are you having fun yet? Come on. God. Wow, that was very close. That was extremely close. Maybe a little bit too close. Bro, I'm still in disbelief. And I've, I, obviously, I've played this game before. But, you know, when you play so many games and it's been so long since you played this, I had forgotten for a quick second that that's how this man died. I wish I could say the same. Easy. Blackwater. Oh, I will never talk ill of you again. <laughs> Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind and restore the spirit. <laughs> so you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. Uh, Mr. McDougal. Very top. You ever heard of a DMT by any chance? Uh, I think you might like that one. According to Joe Rogan. Easy. Uh, okay, wait, where do I? Is it here? Uh. Come on. Wait, are we really Come going on, through the alley? Down. This is kind of sus here, man. What are, what are you trying to do, huh? Whoa there. Do we really have to do all this? This is yeah. kind of uh. Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. Wow. That was quite incredible. Professor. Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. Do you know, do you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir. No, I don't. Not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, Professor? Oh, oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, oh. Damn, look at his arm. Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Uh, Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boy's here, 
They already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. We're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> yes. oh, come here. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. How did they even get in that room? That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Come on, we can get to the roof this way. All right, follow McDougal to the rooftop. Do something! He's going to kill me! One more move, and he's a dead man. Oh. Onward! Hello, what the? Oh my god! Five. What do we do now? Holy we shit! We gotta pin down on both sides. Do you fellas sit down or something? Oh my god, I didn't even see him. Oh, hold on, we got we got these snipers over here. The last syringe was a mistake. He said the last syringe was a mistake. <laughs> oh, they're dead, right? You guys dead? Yes, you're dead. Alright, we got this. This guy got that one. He's dead. This hangman is OP as hell, dude. What kind of joke criminals are you? I'm gonna wait to replenish my health just a little bit here. Look at that. I I'm not even using the hangman. I was using a revolver. Holy cow! Alright, you know what? Might as well just use this. That's that then. Oh, yeah. What I'm talking about. What do these people want? Uh, they want to kill you? I'll shoot you in a minute, McDougal. I think that's enough. I think yeah. that's most of them. The coast looks clear. Come on then. Let's make a break for it. Whee! <laughs> that was the crappiest slide ever, John. What's wrong with you? Right, I'm going to wait for this guy. I'll follow him. Oh god, can I jump down there? What the I'll probably die. Yeah, let me not do that. Let me just slide down like a good boy. Get on my horse. All right, get us out of here. Let's get out of here. Slow it up. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right to the station. I'm not staying in this This man is trivet out. Really He's legitimately scared. At least you got some good material for your next book. You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West, the romance, the honor, the nobility. But it turns out it's just people killing each other. It always was, Professor. And the Old West ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. Alrighty. This is insanity! I think we're in the clear. Not. There it is. They're coming. Oh, my oh God. shit! Like yeah, I've dropped a hundred fools like you, punk. This man doesn't even defend. He yeah. just rides. He rides into the sunset. He doesn't care. He should care. Wait, isn't that our ranch there? That is. Oh, you gotta be fucking 
shitting me. Return to McDougal. Perfect. That's the thing about that handgun. It's really good and very fast, but obviously that just susceptible to running out of bullets much quicker. My research is complete. Much as I thought. There's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. You've met so many cool characters, man. So long, Professor. So long, sir. This one was just back shit crazy. It's still cool. Interesting. That shit crazy, but interesting. All right, so look at that. We got $403. Probably considered kind of rich. Now we head over to uh, Ross again. Come on. That's going to be fun. I think we're very close to tracking out Dutch and dealing with him in whatever manner we shall deal with him. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. <laughs> no, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you? Oh, boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. You see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure. Civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. What an asshole. Well, 
that's nice. A nice little uh, support on the back would be nice in case I fall off. Let's see if we can put this to rest once and for all, shall we? Go quick! Take a look at this thing! Have you seen this? It's got a gun on the In all my born days, I've ever seen such a... This is this! Iron Dragon! That's the devil's work if I ever saw it. They told me about these. The army's been building them in secret. Oh my god! What kind of armor is that? It's called the turret. Kind of, the sort of. machine of yours seems to be turning a few heads. Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you and call this it? This isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. The army has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw him in. No mistakes this time. Mm. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. Did I skip this? Keep going? I don't think there's any other dialogue, right? Oh, we're here. Here's the cow! Look, they brought the machine gun! That's right, we brought the machine gun. Yeah, they're set up like they're about to go against an entire freaking country. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. Fuck. Dismiss those weapons and get to the sand. Bro, look at this. Move. Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. I don't know if you knew this, but hold your fire until I it was give supposed order. to be the Red Dead Redemption uh, remastered or whatever, and it got canceled because the GTA trilogy didn't do that well. And uh, I was playing this in hopes that we'd be able to play that later on, but it seems like we we may not be getting that there for a while, are, if ever at all. Oh man! Just try to stop Look, me! Kill every last one of you! Keep the map! I have to kill horses and everything, I'm sorry. Goddamn savages! Now! Don't let him get too close! First place, have you seen this shit? Like unlimited bullets on a machine gun. The early 1900s. That's like a cheat code. I mean, literally. Right. This thing's a lot bumpier off the road. It's gonna be a mess if we have to follow them into the woods. This is insanity! I can hardly hold on! Just shut up and drive, Fordham! Bro, the road is not that bad. Look out I mean, behind those road. rocks! Hold them up!
That was eventful. I think this is actually the mission we get to go ahead to head with Dutch. Let's see what happens. We could have just killed Agent Ross right there. Boy, oh boy. And we could have said, hey, you know, they got killed. I would have been Well, Mr. Marston, perfect. it seems like your mentor Dutch no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, man. Let's move out. Damn. We just keep using our, our family as collateral. Let's go. Blackmailing us. So you're the one who's gonna kill him? Dutch? Yep, that's what they keep telling me. Look. But if you feel like doing it, please be my guest. This is suicide, if you ask me. My scouts have seen that fort of his. I wanted to wait for more men, but them city boys back there weren't having none of it. And you answer to them? Unfortunately, it seems that now we do. They said you was in a gang with this Dutch Vanderlyn. I was once, a long time ago. Don't seem like the kind of fella you want to run with. Unless I completely misjudge your character, of course. When he turned crazy, I left. At least I tried to leave, till those suits back there came and knocking, threatening to kill my wife and son if I didn't go after them. Strange times we live in, partner. Strange times. Well, this guy seems a little bit nicer to me. It's a funny business. Army, government men, criminals, with all due respect. You're telling me? Too many hands on the tiller if you ask me. This is how mistakes happen. My boys don't know who's giving the orders no more. Take it from me, mister. When we get up there, it ain't gonna matter. It'll be every man for himself. Oh shit, Tanner's reach. Here we are. Entering uh, enemy territory. It's about to go down. Can we guys it can go a little quicker than this? And I think I'm running out of hard drive space in my computer. Let's 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 do this. Let's not take any longer than we need to. Let's go boys. Yeah, we're almost there. I think we can just go. I don't think they're gonna talk or anything. Let's see how far we can get there. How fast we can get there, excuse me. Wow. Well, this is actually really far. Come on. I wonder if I missed any dialogue back there. Probably not. Bro, this is far. Are you serious? Sheesh. It's like this game wants it to be far, you know? <laughs> wow, dude. Am I going the right way? Dear goodness gracious. I would have taken forever following the speed of these dudes. Wow, look how beautiful this is. Incredible. Plus, I want to make sure I get there during the daytime, not uh, sunset. I want to make sure I see Dutch's face one last time. This is kind of crazy, the fact that I have to yeah. write all of this crap. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Blow that gate 
grenade open. Move, soldier. Was he like invisible? Did you see that dynamite kind of like float in the air? That's pretty funny. Well, that's how you make Whoa, noise and you blow your cover. But hey, I guess we savages now. We're about to die, punk. Over there. I saw that yeah. bad spot here. Uh, wait, what the fuck is going on? That's it. Why is this glitched out? This is gonna be one hell of a mess. I was trying to use the weapon, the repeater, and it wasn't letting me. Forward! Oh, that's kind of weird. I feel so bad every time I work. I feel so bad every time I kill people while I'm doing it for Ross. I feel like shit, to be honest. Just because I know. I, I just know. And, and even if I didn't know, even when I didn't know, I just I didn't like it. This is that part of the game that uh, you just got to deal with, I guess. Some ammo. A lot of people. This is got back up for real. Advance into the village. It's got a lot of men. Kind of crazy. I gotta give it to you, Dutch. Use the Gatling gun to eliminate Dutch's gang. Hold on. First, I gotta heal up. <laughs> First, I gotta heal up. death counter if you didn't notice this is what we got shot from i think when we had the binoculars on <laughs> right marston we'll take two men with us the rest will stay here and take care of the wounded they'll plant charges at the gate you and i'll provide the cover fire this is it man let's get that gate down keep them covered now marston hold them up we need time to set the explosives This is the United States Army. Fuck. Oh my god. These guys don't stop coming. That's the thing. It's, it's just uh, one of those things. They just keep on spawning. Shoot this man in the chest. Break his heart a little bit. Do what I do best, and that's kill. At the end of the day, I am an outlaw. Everyone Fuck it. Oh, shit. Fire in the hole! You 
Tend to your wounded. I gotta face Dutch alone. Man's brave. Really brave. Looks like it's me and you, John. Man's got a whole fucking machine gun for himself. Home. The influence. Jesus Christ. You better follow me. I'll make you Damn it, hey, hey, calm down. Wow, what a dick. He's another whore's son, just like you. What a piece of shit, dude. Son of a bitch. God damn it. You'll never take me alive, John. All right, Jay Dutch. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on! Don't, don't do that. Don't be stupid either. This is it, bro. This is what we've been waiting for, guys. It's over, John. I ain't leaving here without you. <sighs> it would have been really cool if they would have like, like edited this game and then talked about Arthur Morgan, kind of like they did with Star Wars when they put Anakin. That would have been so cool, you know? It'd be like a, I don't know, an edited version of the, of the game, like a little DLC download that you can, I don't know. Maybe I'm just asking for too much. Yeah, probably. Damn, look at this dude. This man was living lavish. You're just like me, John. You can't change who you are. I ain't like you. Look at this, bro. This guy was living good. Like, seriously. Look at this. This man was living real good. All right, we're going up top. Oh, shit, bro. I've got the chills right now. <sighs> it ends here, Dutch. Give up or die. That's like, where you're wrong. I like that fade and that like raspiness he has in his voice, like the character. He had it a lot in Red Dead Redemption 2, and we talked about it, you know, occasionally. Um, I really like it. Very unique. Very realistic. Oh, shit. Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. We got to stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. Fuck. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. Can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? Then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Wow. Our time has passed, John. <laughs> Big comical. 
being honest, but um, so at the, the end you wow. didn't have the guts to shoot him. The end of an arrow right there. The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? Trust me, it looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, <laughs> I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. Oh, what a They're fucking... quite safe and sound. They better Bitch. be. Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, you've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. <sighs> They'll just find another monster. Go. All right. I think we've arrived here we're we're back home with abigail roberts and uh our son jack and uncle and whatnot hey. so we're gonna just post up right here Whoa. and uh i think the final and last episode will be uh beginning right here at our ranch so kind of want to i want it to end but i don't because it's a bittersweet moment but um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video of course if you did drop a like and hopefully I will I will catch you guys on the next one